Hi, Alex. Um, what does being in the final of uh, Masters 1000 mean to you? Oh, it feels great. Um, it feels like, uh, you know, all the hard work, all the hours on the court, off the court, uh, they're paying off. You know, it's good to see those results because a lot of the times you, you put in all this effort and hard work and the results just don't come, right? So uh, it's always a, a huge boost of confidence when when you're able to go on these deep runs. But, you know, uh, I get to play a, a final tomorrow and, uh, you know, job's not done. Keep on going. Congrats on the win, Demon. Um, you've talked a lot about kind of uh, this uphill battle you've had over your career, never giving up, kind of always being the smaller guy, just having to work hard. But I'm wondering, is there a kind of opponent that you maybe have an easier time or a kind of opponent who has a more difficult time playing against you, a kind of opponent you prefer to play? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, ultimately, it kind of depends, right? Because um, a lot in tennis is, is matchups, right? Uh, and different matchups suit me. Some matchups obviously haven't suited me in, in, in the past as well. I think, you know, ideally, I, I match up well against the bigger guys, right? The stronger guys. Uh, but saying that, that means I've got to also, from my side of the court I've got to play the right way and that's uh, trying to be aggressive trying to make them play that extra ball and uh, make it as tough as I can for them um, and there's sometimes where you know I play maybe maybe a smaller guy and and we end up having uh, you know a three-hour battle so it just kind of depends on the day but what I'm most proud of is uh, kind of the versatility that that I've got to kind of um, you know, have a couple different game plans ready for, for every match. Hi, Alex. Uh, congratulations on your win today. Uh, you broke Davidovic Fakina's serve seven times uh, this afternoon. Did, did you have a specific game plan on return, and, and what allowed you to have that type of success today? Look, I, I think a match like today, you can't really take too much out of it because of the conditions. The conditions were very, very tough uh, for both of us. So uh, it didn't allow for ideal tennis, perfect tennis, and and I knew that from from the first moment I stepped out on court that it wasn't going to be pretty. So I kind of just told myself that no matter what, I was going to compete every point, going to stay positive, and not get frustrated by how the match may go. And I'm just going to give myself the best chance of. Uh, you know, staying tough mentally. And I think that's probably what what got me the win today. It wasn't about how I played tactically or how, um, you know, uh, what I was able to do on the court. I think it was just mentally. It was uh, the most important thing. Alex, aside from what's clicking on the court for you, is there anything off court that's helping propel you to this result in terms of your mindset when you step on the court? A uh, certain pregame meal, a lucky driver, CC Pass once said he drew power from the CN Tower here in town. Anything <laughs> like that? Uh, you know what? The the last couple of weeks I've in Los Cabos, uh, due to the late matches, I got into this routine of having a, a little nap, uh, mid-afternoon nap, call it siesta, whatever you want. Um, and actually here I've been uh, kind of getting into the same routine, they've got a beautiful, uh, quiet room uh, downstairs with a couple beds and uh, I'll tell you what, I've been uh, making use of that every day before my match. Congrats on the win, Alex. It's been quite the 24 hours for Australian sports. You making the final here, the Matildas advancing yeah. the Women's World Cup. I'm curious if you saw any of the highlights of that. Pelly shootout and what the impact of the women's national team is having right now in Australia. Oh, it's it's amazing. It's it's huge. Uh, I mean, especially playing at home and, and the amount of crowd support they're being able to bring to these matches and just the excitement. Look, they they got uh, they got the deciding penalty. Uh, 
think it was yesterday, yeah. Uh, and, and now they're in the semi-finals of the World Cup, and I believe they play England, right? So I've got something to kind of watch with uh, with Katie, uh, and I'll hopefully the Matildas get the win as well. Alex, congrats on the win. Uh, speaking of the matchups that you were just talking about that suit you or don't suit you, I want to get your thoughts on tomorrow's final. Because uh, I know you've beaten Tommy five times, but you've also lost to Yannick four times. So what specific challenges do both of them present to you? And ultimately, what do you feel you really need to do to be able to either get that first win or to continue where you were already going with with, uh, with Tommy? Well, look, I think, uh, honestly, whoever wins tomorrow, you'll... Uh, I mean, tonight you'll ask the same question and uh, they'll give you the same answer that tomorrow's a completely new day and anything can happen. And that's uh, the world of sport and the world of tennis. So, uh, look, uh, they're, they're different players, of course. Um, you know, Yannick's one of the, the better ball strikers on tour. You know, his uh, ball speed is... Uh, it's up there with definitely the highest from both sides and you know he's uh can definitely pound the ball um tommy has been playing great this week beating the number one in the world uh, so he's uh definitely bringing up his level and he's uh very crafty as well he's got a, a beautiful all-around game so Look, it's it's a final tomorrow. I'm gonna bring the same mindset. I'm gonna go out there, enjoy it, and and compete till till the end. Uh, hello, uh, Alex. Uh, congrats on, on the win. Um, there you have like your your mindset, your versatility. But uh, what is the the next step in 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 your game to to keep uh, to to keep going up, to to keep improving? Thank you. Well, I think it's uh, what I've done this week. Um, kind of uh, going deep in, in the bigger tournaments. That's always what's been lacking for me. Um, it's no secret I've been wanting to to get to this stage for for the last two, three years. You know, I've been top 20 in the world for maybe the last four years and, and kind of been stable. And, you know, there's a lot of merit in that, but at the same time, I've been wanting to push more for more. And and I think the the step is basically just going on a run in a big tournament that's the biggest difference that's where you get all the points and where you're able to make the the big jump and then all of a sudden you start getting protected a little bit more with seedings and and stuff at, at the bigger tournaments and 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 then everything starts to click so i think i'm in the right direction and yeah hopefully this is the week hey alex what's allowed you this week to go so deep and get to the weekend i think uh, it's been a great mindset from day one. Um, yeah, it's n I had a very quick turnaround from Los Cabos. So uh, I got in at uh, 1 a.m. Monday. Uh, I played doubles that day, and the following day I had to stop my, my singles uh, on Tuesday. And... Again, uh, I just told myself that I was going to compete. And the first couple of rounds, I didn't play my best tennis. Uh, and it was just uh, things weren't clicking. I couldn't really feel the ball in the strings. And I just told myself to keep going at it. If I kept on giving myself chances, then there's always a better chance that the next day I was going to play better tennis. I was going to find a better level. And that's what I've been doing. So it's been... It's been great. Didn't start amazing this week, but I've been able to find a very high level uh, throughout the later stages of the week. Oh, it means, uh, yeah, it, it would be a huge milestone. I mean, this year uh, being able to to get a 500 in Acapulco was was big for me, and and also look, uh, you know, to prove a lot of the people wrong. That's that's probably the the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, uh, I take a lot of pride in in what I do, and you know, a lot of people don't have a lot of belief in me, but um, I get a, a real sense of satisfaction proving people wrong. Hi, Alex. Uh, second finals in two weeks in two different countries. Does it help mentally for your confidence, or is it a toll because physically it must be pretty uh, tough to be. Uh, in two finals in two weeks, how do you see that that advantage or disadvantage? Well, look, um, if I ever in my career complain about 
<laughs> being in, in two finals in two weeks, uh, then someone's going to have a serious look at me. Um, no, uh, I think it's a big boost of confidence and and bringing that consistency. Uh, that for me is the biggest thing. Uh, week after week, showing good level and you know not having one good week and maybe an early exit at, at the next tournament, which I've probably done a fair bit in my career. So a step in the right direction and, and we move on. Question fort simple. Où est-ce que vous avez appris par, à parler français et comment vous le, le, le pratiquez pour toujours pouvoir le parler? Oui, je, je l'ai appris à l'école. Euh, il fait beaucoup de temps que, que je l'ai appris. Je ne parle pas beaucoup. Euh, mais maintenant, euh, j'habite à, à Monaco et je dois parler un peu plus. Euh, mais je ne parle pas beaucoup parce que je ne suis pas trop confident. Dans, dans cette langue. Je parle plus euh, l'anglais et l'espagnol. Ah, merci.